OKRs help teams and companies execute their strategic goals using a well-defined operational framework. OKRs are actively used by the technology titans revolutionizing our 21st century world. Apple, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Netflix, Twitter, Spotify, as well as countless other startups and innovative companies are all using the OKR framework. OKR is a goal management system used by teams, large and small, to collaborate and achieve stretch goals through a framework that requires regular check-ins, feedback, continuous learning, collaboration, and problem solving. They are simple yet powerful as they are useful for startups and large corporations to execute their strategy with focus and alignment. Common mistakes that cause OKRs to fail include confusing tasks with key results and pursuing a poorly developed OKR. From the start, it's important to have a good understanding of what you're trying to accomplish. Ask yourself the following questions when setting objectives. Does the objective help achieve company goals? Is the objective inspiring? Does the objective move the company forward? Is the objective time bound? Is the objective set for the end of the quarter or year? It's also helpful to look at what objectives shouldn't be. Objectives are not projects with subtasks and objectives should not be easy. So a good objective for increasing revenue would be achieve record revenue growth in Q3. This is a good example since it's aspirational, time bound, and helps to move the company forward. A bad example would be keep making revenue. This doesn't work because it's not time bound, inspiring, and not forward looking. Key results are the ways for you to measure your objective, so they are equally as important. They are the steps to meet your objective and the root of your goals. Key results should be specific, quantifiable, achievable, lead to objective grading, and be difficult but not impossible. Key results should not be unquantifiable or tasks to be achieved. Some good examples of key results include generate $100,000 in new revenue, reduce customer churn in the first quarter from 15% to 10%, and onboard 300 new clients. A not so great example would be to launch a new line of business. This example is not measurable, nor is it clear how this would contribute to the objective. For a good example of an OKR that is aspirational and moves the company forward, let's look at the following. For the objective, we'll put make our company go viral. For our key results, we'll put generate 100,000 views on our YouTube channel, get 10,000 new followers on Instagram, and increase organic search traffic to our website by 20%. Bad key results for this objective would include make videos for YouTube, get more Instagram followers, and improve SEO. Another poorly developed OKR would be an objective of implement new outbound email campaign, and key results that read write email copy to send to outbound leads, get a list of outbound leads, send email to everyone on list. This is not an objective with key results, but instead a project with a list of tasks to follow. Remember that objectives are large, aspirational goals, and key results are quantifiable measurement of that goal. It is also important to remember that OKR methodology isn't just about setting objectives, but building a culture around them as well. Your weekly initiatives and plans should all help achieve your long-term goals, and you should update the progress of your key results regularly. OKRs should be discussed every week. Create a weekly ritual around them and discuss and review with your team to find success with this framework.